Moments. Little bursts of time from seconds to minutes in length that can have a significant impact on the world and how we perceive it. We often enlist moments as representative of events and memories. However, to truly understand the impact of a moment, one must know the historical context around it. As you can tell, this is the end of finals two of the 2010 Einstein field. This moment is immediately important knowing that either the Red Alliance wins and become Einstein champions, or the Blue Alliance wins and becomes a chance to win in the third match. There's an incredible amount of history between the first picks of each alliance, and the outcome means a lot historically. The first two picks have already faced off this year, making the finals something they've seen before. However, we need to go back in time to understand the true significance all the way back to Stack Attack. Team 469 Los Gorillas got their start in 2000, becoming a powerhouse team in the coming years. Starting their sophomore season, they had become both a regional and a division finalist, missing Einstein Field by a few points. In 2002, they would win two regionals, one alongside the hot team and one against them, who will be coming up later. However, in the division, they would come in clutch. They team up alongside the number one seed Road Warriors and the Gale Hawks to make it to the finals of their division. They'd be upset by Raider Robotics, the Robonauts, and the pink team in the finals, though, making them have to wait until 2003 to try again. Try again, they would, though, and after a rough start in the regional rounds, they would team up with Wild Stang and the Husby Brigade. In a stacked Archimedes division, they would go one and one in each of their sets, ending up beating Chief Delphi, which was actually the other half of Pontiac, both Chief Delphi and the Husky Brigade would team up to become the Wings of Fire, alongside the Feds and Falcon Area Robotics. On their first trip to Einstein, they beat the Lions of eventual Hall of Fame teams in the semifinals, and making it into the Einstein Finals in two. They'd be up against Metal in Motion, the Martians, and the team who knocked them out last year, Raider Robotics. The finals will go 1-1 one and one in 469 favor, with them um, becoming Einstein champions. One thing of note in FRC is much like high school sports, there is an effective turnover. Although coaches and mentors can be there for several years, a student can only do it for four. Many of the students who helped out with Einstein wouldn't be there in 2004. However, those who were would still push forward with the season. Much like the previous year, they struggled with the regional events, but would make it into the division powerful as always. They team up with CH Robotics and the Tech Hounds in the Galileo division. After going 6-0 in their division, they go on to beat Hots Alliance in a best of three, moving on to the finals again. Unfortunately for Las Gorillas Alliance, Hammond wasn't done being Hammond. Unlike 2003 where they hadn't showed up, this was 2001 and 2002 Hammond where they made it all the way to the Einstein finals yet again. The uh, opposing alliance of course had Hammond, the Robodogs, and the sole team from 2003 Einstein who they'd beaten the year before, that being the Martians. In a valiant effort, they were able to bring Hammond's alliance to a rubber match where they'd become Einstein finalists. Even with this, it was still an incredible performance with very few making back-to-back -back Einsteins then or even now. Unfortunately, a mix-up turnover and the switch from 2v2 to 3v3 in 2005 wouldn't be the best for them. 2005 wouldn't be the best for them, with them being knocked out in the quarterfinals of each of their competitions. Three years out from the championship, they'd do much better in 2006, making the finals of both of their regionals, winning one, and then going on to the semifinals of their division. Once again in 2007, they'd mirror 2006, making the finals in both regionals, winning one of them, and then making the semifinals of the division yet again, however with a bit more symbolism to 2010. Them and Symbotics would face off against the hot team, losing in a best of three in the lead-up to 2010. They'd win another regional in 2008 and become a finalist in, the f in their first first Michigan district against Hot. 2010 would be quite different. They wouldn't do well, or even good. They'd do amazing. They'd built the best robot in 2010 in my eyes, and arguably one of the best ever. They could win a match without even touching it in teleop after setting it up with Autonomous. Now on to their performance. They'd win their first district with the Thunder Chickens, a second district with the Thunder Chickens yet again, going 12-0-1 in the process, having not lost a playoff match going into the state championship. They were picked by the number one seed, NC Gears, and the number one alliance going strong 4-0 into the finals. Against Hot and the Thunder Chickens, they'd tie 18-18 with the first match, win 15-13, lose their first playoff match 8-13, and then win 14-12, becoming first in Michigan district champions, stopping Hot's repeat of the championship. Going into the Curie Division, they'd be picked up by the number one seed, Symbotics, who had gone 58-1-2, losing only a single match going into these playoffs. And alongside RO Squared, 
they'd go 6-0 in the divisional playoffs. After knocking out the poofs in two in the semis, here we are in the finals again. A captain who'd lost a single match all season going into the finals and who made it back-to-back fi- a team who made it back-to-back finals for the second time in three years. A first pick with a long and storied history with Hot, and a second pick to round it all out. Best in teams like Los Gorillas, it would be an opportunity for teams like the Hot team. Having started out in 1997, they've always been one of the best teams in their area. They'd won regionals in 1999, 2000, 2002, 2003, and 2004, with that beer being a highlight, winning their division alongside their partners from the Buckeye Regional, being Sparks and Greater Rochester Robotics. To make a point at this, they were able to team up with both teams they'd won a regional with, and what I've seen is one of the only times that has ever happened. Although they were knocked out by Lost Gorillas, they'd eventually come back even stronger in 2005, one of their best years in their history, as I'd consider. They'd win their first regional, the Great Lakes Regional, with one of two sequential alliances in history, them teaming up alongside 66 and 68, becoming 66, 67, and 68. They then win the Buckeye Regional and the first ever Chairman's Banner at the eventual West Michigan Regional. Going strong into Worlds, they team up with Beach Bots and Frog Forest and win their division, making it to Einstein yet again. Unlike before, they'd been in the Archimedes Division in the best of three, and they made it to the Einstein Finals. Their, fi- their first finals would be a tough one against an alliance of the Cheesy Poofs, the Gila Monsters, and R-O-B-B-E. In two very close matches, they become Einstein champions. On top of that, they'd win the Chairman's Award, making them the only team in history to win Worlds and be inducted in the first Hall of Fame in the same year. Following up on this year, 2006 and 2007 wouldn't have as much fanfare. They had a great region alongside Symbotics, where they beat Lost Gorillas on the start of 2006. However, they wouldn't do as well in the subsequent competitions. In 2007, after being eliminated by Las Gorillas in the quarterfinals of a regional, they'd meet again in their division, beating them in the semifinals. How would become division finalists with 2008 looking bright. With this being three years out since the division, since the championship, the last of the 2005 champions were still there. They'd start off strong, making it to the semifinals of Finger Lake Regionals, taking the opposing alliance to three. They'd then win the Great Lakes Regional, going strong into the championship. As captain, they pick the Bayou Robotic Champion, Baxter Bomb Squad, New York City Regional Finalist, Norwell Robotics for their second pick. Much like 2005, they'd beat the sixth alliance, up the set the second, and beat the fourth, become division champions. Einstein Field would be very different from 2005. They'd beat two very tough matches against the Kilobytes, Uberbots, and Bobcat Remember Them Robotics, making it back to the finals. Their opponents are my pick for the strongest Einstein alliance of all time, the IFI Trio Symbotics, the Thunder Chickens, and the Robo Wranglers. They'd put up a good fight, but would end Einstein finalists with hope for the future. 2009 would have a very similar look to 2005, especially with the advent of the district system. They won their first competition with the Thunder Chickens, their second with Trucktown Thunder, and the third again with the Thunder Chickens. They had won three competitions before the state championship, only having lost three matches, all of those being in the last competition. They team up with the Thunder Chickens at States, become state champions, going into Worlds with four banners. At Worlds, they team up with fellow Hall of Fame inductee Wildstang and the Dark Horse Spartan Robotics, who did incredibly well, but it ranked low in their division. Unlike any Einstein alliance up to that point, besides arguably the 2001 Hammond alliance, they'd be the first to go undefeated in the playoffs, going 6-0 in their division and 4-0 on Einstein. They'd end up against the Thunder Chickens, Truck Down Thunder and the Bears in the finals where they would win in two. Going into 2010, we've set the stage. Hot would win their first district with the Foley Freeze and their second with the Wings of Fire. However, unlike 2009, both finals would end in a best of three. States would end with them as second seed picking the Thunder Chickens to take on a powerful number one seed. They'd eventually lose, though winning the first playoff match against Las Gorillas. Going into Newton, first seed Beach City Robotics would pick Hot and our friends Bobcat Robotics, making a powerful number one alliance. Mirroring their district performance, Hot would go 4-0, then bring the finals to three, beating the 2008 Ally and Bomb Squad. If making back-to-back-to-back Einstein wasn't good enough, they had a great chance of making the finals. They went up against a powerful alliance of Winnovation, the Innovators, and a random team from Canada which brought them to a best of three. OP and Winnovation would set a record 22 points on Einstein before being beaten by the Hot Alliance. Here we go again in the finals. Both alliances were storied past wa- wanting to win the championship. Let's see what happens. Nice.
and this is how it would end. The hot team alongside Beach City Robotics and 177 Bobcat Robotics would become world champions. The hot team would become a two-time in a row world champion and become the first team to win three championships since Hammond had done it many years ago in 2002. It was a mixture of the strategy on the Red Alliance being able to block the scores of that alliance and the Blue Alliance's dependency on stopping that other alliance to stop them from scoring that would allow the Red Alliance to break through and win. And those last few seconds showed that unfortunately for the Blue Alliance, one of their partners would accidentally block two of the shots. A mix of that and the inability for their top scorer to climb led to it being a very close match, but the Red Lions pulling through in both matches, becoming Einstein champions. Now we all know what happens from here. Hot goes on to win a few more divisions and wins three more state championships, those being in 2011, 2012, and 2016, with Las Grillas also doing the same, winning champ state championships in 2012, 2013, and 2017, however not all at the same rate as Hot. Hot would continue to be an impressive force within the state of Michigan, making the finals of er almost every single state championship since, whereas Las Gorillas didn't do as well as they have done in 2010. This is an incredible moment in FRC history, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you like this, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'd be more than happy to do something like this again. Thank you, and this has been the FRC Historian.